We want students to know that it's not always about the answer. Frequently in math, it's about the way that you get from the question to the answer. Because if they understand that process and if they can go through that process and duplicate that process in their own mind, then they can solve problems that are real in the world and real in their lives. What we're really looking to do for our students is to give them a lens, a math lens, with which to see the world and be able to look at something like an airplane and think about, gosh, I wonder how that airplane stays up in the air. They may not know all the math to support their ideas about why, that's, why it would stay up in the air, but to be able to think about it and, and to have the concepts rolling around in their head is something that we think is really important. So we present them with problems. We present them with, uh, with short video clips in some cases, with pictures of things that occur in the real world. They're things that usually don't have a specific question aligned with them. And we ask the students to, to say, well, what's intriguing about this? The process for those big problems is like, he'll show us like what the problem is or like a preview of the problem and you know, just get our thoughts. And then after that, learn some information like measurements or numbers and then we'll like work on like equations that we could use to solve this problem. When we get it then we'll all like you know share our answers and figure out what the right one is. They get together in pairs or they get together in groups or they think individually and they come up with well I want to solve this, try to solve this problem in this particular way, and so I'm going to need this piece of information and that piece of information. Another group of students may decide that they want to solve it in a different way, and they actually may be looking for other pieces of information. And that's exactly what we're after. We're after students who can solve problems in different ways, who can seek divergent solutions to problems in, in the processing. Math isn't just a course that you take to go to the next course in math. Math is a way to view the world, it's a way to engage with the world, it's a way to solve problems, it is a tool that is used by people all over the world and we want our students to have that tool and to be able to go out in the world and use it. We're hoping that in the long run, as, as our students come out of middle school and they come out of our enriched math program and all of our math programs with this ability to see math differently that they're going to be driven to take other math classes and to pursue more math courses in high school and college not because it's needed for a college resume but because I'm interested in math I see the value of math I was really like surprised at the kind of math that we do because it's not like anything I've ever done before um, like last year, the year before that, I went to a public school and it was more of like they'd show us this one thing and then they'd give us a worksheet and we'd have to answer 20 different questions about the same exact thing. And um, you know, that was like not that entertaining. I didn't really like that. You know, I was like, you know what, whatever job I do, I don't want it to involve that in math. And then I come here and you know, it's just more like this is actually happening, people are actually solving this, it's not a stupid worksheet. You know, now I see that like, there's so much cool math out there to do that I actually do want to do some math in my life.